Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be showing you how to make some paracord sandals. So all you need for this project is 10 feet of paracord, something to cut it with, and a cheap pair of flip-flops. Let's dive in. So these really are the cheapest of flip-flops. I got them for about 98 cents at Walmart. Um, so we're just going to be taking off the top part and using the foam sole for this tutorial. So you can just go ahead and these scissors are pretty good, and you might need to use a knife. Clip them off. And you won't be needing this. So the nice thing about using a pre-existing flip-flop is that you don't have to cut your own holes. Um, I've also seen people do this with bike tires or car mats. Um, but this will make things a little bit faster. So we're going to start by cutting our paracord in half. So we've got two five-foot sections. And then we'll just melt those a little bit so they don't fray. And then you can set half aside for now. And then with the other one, we're going to be tying a figure eight knot in one side. So how you do that, it's a a little bit different than a single overhand knot. Where with a single overhand we would go right through a loop, but on this one we cross it over our standing end and then wrap it around the back and then down through that original loop. So we've got that figure eight pattern like that. You can just pull that tight and then right away we're going to clip the end and melt that down flat. Then you're going to find the other end and put it up through the hole that goes between your toes. And that knot should just fit right in the little divot on the bottom side, where you won't feel a lump on the underside there. All right, the next step is to bring it to the outside of your foot. We're going to be going through this hole next. So we want to go down through the hole and just leave a little bit of slack, enough to fit your foot through later. Um, we'll be adjusting it as we go to, but just to leave enough slack in the right places. And then down here, we want to bring it around the heel next, but we're going to come underneath our other end so that it crosses over like this. So next it's going to go around our heel, so you want to leave some more slack for that. And then go down through the other back hole. Then we're going to use the same concept that we did over here, going underneath this side before bringing it back to the front of the flip-flop. At this point, we want to run it underneath our original cord and then fold it back on itself towards the direction that we came from. Now we're going to be going around the heel once more. So I'm going to turn this sideways so I can show you better what we're doing. We're on the inside of the foot right here looped across the top, heading back, and you want to come to the inside. So here's our original loop on that hole. Our cord is coming back on the inside, wrapping around here, and then going underneath that original cord and over the top of the next one. So our end knot should look like that. It doesn't stay put, so if it's loose, that's exactly how it's supposed to be. All right, so then around the heel one more time, and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So flipping the shoe around, this is the outside of our foot now. We want to come to the inside and go around this loop, just like before. Underneath that first one, oops, get these out of the way so you can see what's going on. So around, underneath that first cord, and over the top of the second one. So your end knot looks like that. Here's our working end. 
All right, so we're just about done. We've kind of got a tangled mess right now, and we want to anchor some of those in place. So now back to the front of your sandal. Let's tip it back the way it's supposed to go, to the front here. So here's our working end that we want to secure now. We're going to go underneath the double cord, so underneath this double one here, over the top of that one that goes between your toes, around the back. So we're in between the two sides now. And then we're going to take a loop and put it through that retaining strap there. And you can just pull that tight to keep it in place. That way you can easily untie it if you need to, but these sandals can stay tied and just easily slip on and off. So one more time, make a loop or bite and put it through the loop that goes around. So we should just be able to pull that loop to pull everything tight. Now that those are both done, let's go outside and try them on. All right, so we're outside. Let's give these things a little test. All right, so after trying those on outside, a couple things to look out for. Um, for number one, the stopper knot that we put on the bottom of the toe side actually pulled through the hole, and so we retied that into an Ashley stopper knot. Uh, depending on the size of the hole in your flip-flops that you buy, or if you're cutting them yourself, you may have to adjust accordingly. Um, if it's really pulling through and causing you problems, you could put a metal washer or something like that on the bottom side. Um, the other thing is that depending on the size of your feet, you may need slightly more than 10 feet of paracord to make these. I was just about running out, but this ended up being just right. We're hoping to readdress this project in a future video. Maybe we'll get bike tires or order away for those kits that you can get. But be sure to stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Shut up. <laughs>